Hello everybody, this is Nick Simpson uh, from webmasterbusinessplan.com, as you may already know. And uh, if you're watching this video on YouTube or Rever or Vidler or another video site, please rate my video. Please subscribe to my channel if you like the information I share. And this video I want to discuss some things to do with RSS. And start off, RSS does stand for really simple syndication for those of you who do not know. And people that do follow my information know that I have been just excited about RSS and what that technology offers us as far as internet marketing and syndication of information across the web. And I wanted to show a little trick that I use on some of my WordPress blogs and I highly suggest anybody that uses WordPress do the same thing that I'm showing you here. Um, and what that is is the, using the capability of multiplying the RSS feeds that you have on your site. Most people start a WordPress blog and they know that they have an RSS feed and they use that and they may they may use an RSS submitter. Um, that is one thing that I do advocate. I do use and it does drive boatloads of traffic for free guys. Um, as you can see I have a couple feeds to a few different sites that I do um, post on and um, the point is this guys if you have one website and one feed the most information you can try to share is one. If you have 50, 50 sites that will take your submission of RSS feeds and you submit one feed to 50 sites, that's all the better you can do for yourself to get your information automatically spread across the web. Now, we'll think about this. If you have one website and say five or ten feeds, would it be easier to get more traffic? Well, absolutely it would. Now guys, I'm going to tell you two things in this video and one of them I'm not going to cover I'm not going to show you, but feed burner, guys. Any feed you got, you can get another one by going there, submitting your feed. They'll give you a new address, and you can submit the same feed two times with a different web address. I suggest you do that. Now, to the multiple, the multiple feeds in this article. I'm just uh, making the video in response to this. I had some guys tell me that it was too long of an article, and they just like rather have a video. So I'm going to do that for them. And what I talk about in this is how to make a different feed from each category you have. And I will show you that by default WordPress, if I can get to the bottom here to my feed, gives you a default feed which is slash feed to your domain name. And this is my RSS feed for this brand new site rss30.com rss3.0 is what it's talking about here. But did you know, and most people don't, and WordPress really doesn't tell you so much about this that you can make a feed out of any category you have. The number of feeds you have is limitless. The only thing that restrains how many you can have is how many categories you've created in your blog. Now obviously if you create a category and do not have any posts in that category it will not display and there will be nothing in that feed. However, if you put a post into the category, and we'll just use this RSS tips as an example, and everybody's site may read a little different up here depending on how you've set up your permalinks. Now the way my site reads is category and then it lists the category name and then it lists the article. So, um, or I'm sorry, category, subcategory. And then article if we were to click on one. And the point is this, if I go behind there and type feed, as you see here at the top, whatever the category is, slash feed, it's going to generate a totally separate RSS feed. Now, let me show you what, just for example, on another site of mine, um, submitfreearticles.com. What I've done here, we have an article directory, nothing fancy. You guys, if you need to get your, your articles out, you can come on over here. But this is what I want to show you. We have an all topics RSS feed. And then these are the most popular categories I've went through and actually manually created. You know, I've seen where people are posting the most in the site, and I've created feeds from that. So, SEO has its own RSS feed. Restaurant Reviews has its own RSS feed. Music has its own RSS feed. Now, when I submit my feeds, I can submit this main one, which has a little bit of everything, because it's the everything category. Or I can come over to the search engine optimization feed that is only about SEO topics, 
or I can come over to the restaurant reviews. This here's different restaurant reviews in Illinois and Memphis and um, casinos in Wisconsin. And but you see what I'm saying now that I've showed you. What you could do is you could create in WordPress, and I'm going to go ahead and jump into the back end so everybody can see how this is done. And you can make your own list of feeds. Now there are plugins out there, and guys, in the article back on RSS30.com, I did state that they're they're crap because they are. Guys, I'm not talking negative about the people who created them. What I'm talking negative about is the way they function. And what they're going to do is they're going to let you. Oop, lost my page. They're going to let you add feeds like I'm showing you here, but they're going to make you manually add them, and then they're going to ask for a backlink wherever you display those feeds. So let me show you how you can set up this piece over here automatically. What we have done is we've taken the feed address that I just showed you how to create, and then we went into our appearance and into our widgets. And on the sidebar, guys, you can do this in any WordPress blog in the world. You can drag over here on the left. It's going to show you text. And all you do is drag that up there. And when you drag text up to either one of your sidebars or whichever one you may have, not all blogs have two, some only have one, what I did is I titled this text field Popular RSS Feeds. And you could title that anything in the world you'd like, guys. And then all I did was use HTML to create a link. Ahref, and then there's the feed address, okay? And the title, I made a title, All Topics RSS. And then for email, I obviously titled it Email. Made a list of links in HTML. There's nothing fancy about this, guys. If you need any help, contact me. I'd love to get you going with this. If you're having problems with HTML or the, um, you know, widgets or whatever. But as you see, when, when we add that on there, all that does is it adds another text block with the links I've told it to over here. So don't go out and, and put someone else's link and, and go through their <laughs> crappy plugins. Just do it yourself. It's going to look fine. It's going to work. And uh, it's going to be free and easy, guys. So Now, when you go to your RSS submitter and you submit your blog, you might submit 50 different feeds. So feed burner. Uh, final note there guys, I am running out of time. Please visit this new site, RSS 3.0, it's rss30.com. I'm going to post all the information of the, the newest up and coming technologies to do with um, really simple syndication and Atom feeds as well. Um, XML information will be here down the road. So thanks for watching the video guys. Please share my video and have a wonderful evening.